What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 11.1.1 on a Thursday. So most of the time when Apple releases something on a day other than Monday or Tuesday, it's usually some sort of emergency fix or some sort of fix that they needed to get out as soon as possible. And that's definitely what iOS 11.1.1 is. It fixes one of the most annoying bugs in iOS history. And we're gonna talk about that here in a few minutes as well as what else is new in 11.1.1. .1. So first of all, you can see that the update came in at a very small 54 megabytes exactly here on my iPhone 10, which did come from iOS 11.1. .1. Of course, that size is going to vary depending on your device, but it should not be very big at all. And you can see here, it actually shows what is fixed in this update as well, which we will talk about once we look at the build number. So let's go into our settings general about and take a look at the build number here for 11.1.1. .1. You can see it's 15B150. And of course, the first thing we need to talk about with this update is the bug that it fixes, and that is the autocorrect bug with the letter I. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, a lot of people had this issue right here. When you typed I, it would actually change it to that A and then the Unicode symbol right there for a missing emoji, like the little question mark right there inside of the box. And this was a massive bug. A lot of people had it. I actually never encountered it on any of my iPhones that were on 11.1, .1, but a lot of people had it and it was, you know, all over social media. There was memes being made about it. There was a ton of backlash, a lot of people hating on Apple for this, you know, and, and so that has finally been fixed here. And that's why this is really an emergency fix on a Thursday because I cannot wait any longer to fix this annoying bug. And like I said, this is probably one of the worst and most annoying bugs in iOS history because I cannot remember a time when a bug actually went viral online and a lot of memes were made about it like it has been with this bug. I mean, there were workarounds on 11.1. .1. You'd have to go in and kind of change it manually inside your settings, but a lot of people didn't know how to do that. So it's great that this bug has finally been fixed. If you encountered this, let me know in a comment down below and let me know how relieved you are that it has been patched. Now, aside from the autocorrect bug being patched, we also have a fix to Hey Siri when it would randomly stop working. So you can see that mine did not stop randomly working. Mine has always been fine as well, but that has also been fixed here in 11.1.1. .1. So that's pretty much all that has been changed here in 11.1.1. .1. Again, it was mainly released just to fix the annoying autocorrect bug. Now the calculator lag input is still present on 11.1.1 .1 .1 right there. You can see that you can't type very fast. This has been fixed in 11.2. So if you are on the developer version of beta two, you will not have the input lag here on the calculator, but unfortunately that has not been fixed in 11.1.1. .1. Now, as far as the performance and the battery life on iOS 11.1.1, .1, obviously it's only been out for about 30 minutes. So I cannot tell you anything as far as performance or battery, but I would imagine it's exactly the same as 11.1. .1. Because again, this fix was only 50 megabytes and it was really only to fix the Hey Siri issue and the autocorrect bug as well. So you're not gonna really expect a lot of performance enhancements or any kind of battery enhancements or anything like that. So I would not go into this update expecting that. However, if you are on 11.1, .1, I would definitely go ahead and update to 11.1.1 .1 just so you don't encounter either one of those annoying bugs. Now, if you're on iOS 11.2 beta, I would definitely stay there because you pretty much have all the fixes already. Plus you have the calculator input fix as well as some other features. So if you're on 11.2 beta, I would definitely stay there. Now, iOS 11.1.1 .1 is likely the last version of iOS 11.1 .1, as iOS 11.2 is probably gonna go through a few more betas and then be released to the public in the near future. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for iOS 11.1.1. .1. I cannot find anything else that has been changed except for what was in the release notes. And I'm pretty sure that's pretty much all that's been changed anyways. But if you did happen to find anything else new in 11.1.1, .1, let me know down in a comment below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe for a lot more iOS 11 content. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.